Hello and welcome to another ZBrush for iPad getting started video. In this video, we're going to take a look at brushes and symmetry. So to start off, I'm going to use this Head Planes male model. So I'm going to click that and now it's going to load up. So let's go over the brush palette. As mentioned before, you can access the brush palette up here on our left bar and up on the top, you have this little brush icon. Once you tap that, you get access to all of the brushes that come shipped with ZBrush for iPad. You can see on the left that we've organized the brushes based on their function, and you can access a multitude of those. Keep in mind that if you're using the free version of ZBrush for iPad, ZBrush will come with just a few of these brushes. I'm using the premium version, which gives me access to all of the brushes that come out of the box with ZBrush for iPad. So to start off, I'm using the clay buildup brush, as you can see up on the brush palette. You can also access any brush that you want by tapping this all and just scrolling through, or you can tap on these letters over here and we have all the brushes organized alphabetically. So if I know I want, I don't know, clay buildup brush, for example, I'm going to C, and then every brush that starts with the letter C, you can access it. Also, you can see that every brush has a little yellow character, like a letter or a number. That means that if you're using the iPad keyboard, you can just press that hotkey and it will access that brush. Obviously, this will then require a little bit of muscle memory. So it's the same as in the desktop. You just press this palette and then you press the initial letter of your brush and then you press the hotkey, which in this case, it's B to access the clay buildup brush. So going over and figuring out how to start sculpting, you can see by default, this project already has symmetry turned on and local symmetry. This means that you can start sculpting right away and it will sculpt on both sides as seen here in this example. If I wanna increase my focal shift or draw size, I have to press this little icon over here, press and hold and then drag up and down to increase or decrease the draw size on my brush. The focal shift, however, is a setting that is a per brush setting. So if I change my focal setting on the clay buildup thing, and you can see my cursor, there's a little inner circle in my cursor. And that inner circle represents that focal shift, which is basically the transition between the epicenter of the brush and the area that's being influenced by the brush. Also the Z intensity button over here on the left changes the strength or the intensity of all your strokes with that brush. So if I set the Z intensity to a very low value, you can see I'm barely doing anything to the surface of my model. So now let's talk about symmetry. You can turn on and off symmetry with this button on the right. And if for some reason you move your model outside of the center of the world and you turn on symmetry, you can see that as I'm sculpting, it's not sculpting on both sides because it's looking at the grid. If I wanna change that, I can turn on local symmetry, this little button over here, and now it's looking at the model. So now if I'm sculpting, you can see it works again. Dynamic symmetry, however, if I turn it on with a long press on the local symmetry button, means that the gizmo that you can access by tapping this little button down here, if I rotate my gizmo by holding Alt and then just rotating it around, now the local symmetry will look at the gizmo symmetry. So it's looking at that X axis right over there on the gizmo and not on the world coordinates. This essentially means that now if I start sculpting, you can see it's gonna sculpt right there. So if I sculpt over here, let me just increase that Z intensity. So if I sculpt over here, it's sculpting over there. It's looking at that X axis on the gizmo. So this was an introduction to sculpting, brushes, and symmetry. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.